<laughs> okay, so sorry, like I'm looking at this camera, but I'm also looking at myself. I just got back from the grocery store and let me show you guys what we got. Orange juice. Wait, wait, wait. No free clout. Fresh lemons, butter, one shallot, and 100% grass fed beef leg minan. Let's go. So I was watching YouTube earlier and I was watching Jet Bentley's channel, which actually he gave me a shout out in like his other video. So I think it's appropriate that I give him a shout out back. So shout out to Jet. And his dad is actually an iron chef. And you might be asking, Newton, what's an iron chef? Shit, I don't know. But it sounds very prestigious and his dad owns like a couple restaurants in Canada and Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. I got curious and I did my research, all right? Iron Chef was apparently like a cooking show that he was on, but I Google searched his name, which is Suser Lee, and bro has a whole Wikipedia page on him. What? A Wikipedia page? CAA Five Diamond Award. Don't know what that is, but it sounds crazy. Look at his restaurants, bro. Lee Tuk Lok Hin. Past restaurant affiliations. Bro, his resume is stacked. Guys, I think he might know a thing or two about cooking. <laughs> Bro, what? I watched a specific video where he was making like this filet mignon with um this some type of like compound butter situation and he actually gave the ingredients. So today we're gonna try to make it. Yes! A lot of people on TikTok actually ask me like, Newton, show us how you cut onions. Newton, show us how you cut garlic. I'm probably the least experienced person that you should be asking, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I'm pretty sure this is how other people do it too. Little piece of garlic. You wanna cut it diagonally like this in as little of slices as you can. So bro, I'm so scared of cutting my hands. Bitch, bitch. Put my fingers on top. Fly the knife under like this. Ah, okay. Then you just cut it super small and fine like this. Parsley. For the parsley, I'm gonna pick off the leaves. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can eat their stems too, but I just think that the leaves is what you want and I think it makes it easier to eat, you know? Okay, we have about one stick of un... un what? Oh, unsalted <laughs> room temperature butter. Add in the garlic. Shallot, not all of it, because I don't really like shallot. And parsley. Worcestershire sauce. I actually don't even know what this tastes like. And a little bit more. And he used Tabasco, but I'm going to use Cholula just because I have it. And I think it's better anyways, so. Yeah. Lemon. Yeah. Is that enough? A little bit of salt, not too much, because there's lemon in there. A little bit of deeper. And we're just gonna mix it and see. So that's his, and this is mine. Bro, it's actually pretty similar. We what? It's his, right? He put it in food wrap, and then he refrigerated for a bit, I think. And he put more parsley, but... Ah, not let's go! Not bad! Okay, next we have to make our filet mignon. Bro, this thing is like almost two inches, bro. I've actually never had or ate or even made like a piece of beef this thick. Jesus Christ. Pepper. Salt. Just a little bit, and make sure you get it on both sides, okay? and all the sides because this is like a really big piece of meat you want flavor bro you don't want to bite into it and it tastes like a wet sauce a technique he did that i thought was really weird was he put butter on the actual steak which is kind of smart if you think about it because the butter melts as the steak cooks so we're gonna try it out oh shit once it starts smoking put your meat in steak in Y'all, it is so hot in my house, bro. Do not compliment my skin, bro. This shit is grease. This shit is not a glow. No, this shit, this shit is sweat and grease. So we're gonna flip it. Ah, oh my god, that crust. It's actually taking a bit longer than I expected, just because it's like a really big piece of meat, bro. Pause. Um, I've been cooking it for like 15 minutes and it's not done yet. It's at like 110, so we're gonna pull it out at like 130, 135. Boom. Take it out to rest and do not cut into it, all right? Let it rest. For the compound butter, I think he said take one tablespoon, put it into the pan and combine it with the juices of the meat and then just pour it all over the steak. Ah, okay. Bro, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells crazy. Bro, this pan is so heavy, bro. God damn. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the finished product, bro. It looks so buttery. I mean, we did put like a whole stick of butter in there. All right, it's rested. I've waited like 10 minutes. Let's see what we're talking about. Guys, this is like a perfect medium. You know, it's just a little pink, not too much. I can't eat like raw meat where it's like still mooing, but this is, this is a good pink, right?
insane. Let's go. I actually think filet mignon is like a tougher piece of steak just because like it's all muscle, not really any fat. But bro, I think we did a good job with cooking it because it's soft. I can't even tell. I mean, you could tell because it has a lot more like muscle fibers. Overall, bro, 10 out of 10. The butter is insane. Everybody in the comments say thank you, Chef Suzer, all right? Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Pumpkin spice cold brew. Let's go! Y'all, it's early in the morning. I barely have any energy, but I'm gonna show you guys what I copped in the couple in the last couple months, weeks. So a couple videos ago, I told you guys that I got these Ese Miyake gray pants, if you guys remember. I also got them in the black color. Yeah, I decided to get the black pair just because I feel like you could wear black pants with more stuff than gray pants, you know what I mean? Very comfortable pair of pants, actually. Probably the most comfortable pants I own, even more so than these pajamas. When it comes to dressing up, I say that I'm very lazy, so I would just throw on these with a pair of, like, white Air Forces, boots. Literally, any shoe goes with these. Doc Martin 1461 or 1460 Mono, which is um the black sole. I actually got this off of Grail for a good price. The guy that sold these to me were warning me, like, bro, these are super uncomfortable. You have to break in the leather. And I was like, yeah, yeah. All right, I used to work at a restaurant. I used to work 10, 11, 12 hours on my feet. I'm a professional. Two days ago, I wore these to go, I don't know, grocery shopping or something for one hour. And when I took these off, I swear to God, my toes started doing this. <laughs> My toes started doing this, bro. You know how like your toes start like shaking or like spazzing a little bit? These are so uncomfortable. But they're pretty though. But why are you so uncomfortable? If we have any boot experts out there, please let me know how I can make these softer and more easy to wear, okay? Maybe I take the insoles out, put a new insole. But yeah, just a simple boot to wear with fall outfits. People always talk about love at first sight, this, that, and the third. And I was skeptical until I saw these. Off-white Jordan 4 sales. Probably one of the most beautiful shoes I own. I swear to God. If you guys didn't know, these are actually like a woman's release, but they went up to like a size 16 and a half to accommodate for men. And when these came out, I remember going on Instagram through these archive pages and people would be commenting, oh, these shoes are for women. Y'all wear women's shoes. Da -da 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 -da. Huh? These shoes are so nice that I don't care if they made these for women, for men, for toddlers, for kangaroos. These are so nice that I'd wear them regardless. So, so yeah, I guess I technically wear women's shoes. And what about it? And they had that new smell. Because I've never worn it outside. I wore it one time for this video. Yeah. <laughs> Two shoes that deserve an honorable mention because I'm not gonna keep them. Jordan 4 Union Guavas. And these off-white, what, what are these called? I think the rubber dunks. These two shoes are so gorgeous. Actually, no, this is like, eh, but this is so gorgeous. And the reason why I'm getting rid of them is because, like, I don't want to be a hoarder. And quite frankly, like, these are not my style at all. Like, I could see myself wearing them for, like, a fit pick for, like, one picture. But what's the point of just wearing them one time and then keeping them, like, on the shelf forever? You know what I mean? Like, I really like to wear my shoes. I feel like I wouldn't wear these that much. So I'd rather just sell them and get rid of them. And hopefully they end up in the hands of the one that really appreciates them. You know what I mean? But yeah, cool. Thumbnail. Nah, I can't do that, bro. I can't do the mouth open. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I want to apologize for not posting that much. Um, I think my last upload was like a month ago. And it's because like I've been working on like upcoming merch stuff and this, that, and the third. And last week, I had to work on brand deals. I can't believe that we're in the position to even get brand deals in the first place. Y'all. <laughs> I'm getting emotional, man. I would have never thought in a million years that I would get brand deals, okay? I posted my first YouTube video like four years ago, and I never thought that we'd be in this position. And it's all thanks to you guys, right? I don't care if you're a dude or a chick, all right? Kiss on the lips. If you're 18 and older, I hope you guys are chilling. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe in one month, maybe tomorrow, maybe in three months. I gotta keep you on your toes. <laughs> Peace.